Good morning. She sat on the steps, a sick child on her lap. She was tired and scared and had no money. She had been told this place would take care of her child and that they could talk to her in her own language. When the door opened, they welcomed her in. She was at a clinic which receives support from River Road Church Baptist that takes care of all in Jesus' name. The building staff and church administrator stared at the broken HVAC equipment. It was Friday afternoon on a hot summer day. The air conditioner had broken and they knew it was gonna be expensive to fix. After all, it was a busy weekend. People were gonna be packing food for those in other countries, a wedding, and of course all the regular Sunday congregational activities were scheduled. The building was a place to gather and carry out the work of the church and needed to be ready to use. The pastor left his office and he was tired, but he was satisfied. It had been a long day, but they had finally been able to hire the new staff person to take on a budding ministry, one that could be pivotal to the church's growth. He was excited about the planned outreach. Each of these stories is an illustration of how we as a congregation live out our call to share God's love. It's also a series of stories about how the resources provided annually to the congregation of River Road Church Baptist are supported by the endowment fund. Started over 50 years ago by church members with foresight, the endowment fund was created to help the church do things it would do if it had the resources. We all know that there are always more needs than there are ways to meet those needs. The endowment fund was set up to help meet those needs by providing resources over and above what the congregation provides through their annual offerings each year. The founders also cared a great deal about next generations. They knew that many members were looking for ways to sustain this beloved church and her ministries for new generations after they had passed on. The endowment fund is set up to receive contributions in order to make that intergenerational support possible. And it is the gifts of those who have gone before us, as well as some seated in this congregation, that help provide the support to make the stories I told you earlier possible. Operated as a not-for-profit entity separate from the church, the endowment fund is focused on raising, receiving, and managing long-term funds for the benefit of our church, primarily through estate gifts. We also receive some current gifts from members of our congregation. The funds we receive are invested to provide annual grants from the return on our assets. These are provided to the church or causes supported by the church. And at the same time, our goal is to grow our assets so that the annual grant will increase with inflation. Our 12-member board meets regularly to oversee the operations of the fund and to collaborate with the pastor and other congregational leaders on how best to use the monies available each year to support our church's ministries. As noted in the insert to your bulletin, we have given almost $5 million to the church and its ministries 
since 2002 through both specific gifts and support of our operating budget. We would like to thank you for the opportunity to celebrate today as the board of the River Road Endowment Fund. We want to acknowledge this church and its ministries, those who have gone before us and supported the endowment fund, and those who are here today or joining us through live stream who have given to the endowment fund or have committed to give to the endowment fund in the future. We want you as the congregation to know that we are here to support you. We invite you to participate with us in growing the endowment fund through your current or estate gift. The need for ministry is there. We hope you will help us support that. Please feel free to reach out to me or any of the members of the board. We'll be happy to provide additional information or answer questions. Thank you again for the opportunity to participate in God's ministry through River Road.